New tonight, a new play area meant to help kids in therapy. News 8's Travis Robinson gives us a tour of the new sensory garden. Travis. Yeah, this isn't your normal playground. It focuses on sensory issues so kids can have fun while playing and learning how to tolerate strange senses they may not find in their everyday life. Whether they're banging on different metals like drums, watching elephant toothpaste explode from a bottle, or feeling the crunch of rocks beneath their feet, these kids are having a blast. I am from my hand a lot. But at the same time, all of them are going through some type of sensory therapy. Therapy for children is, you know, you have to incorporate play. And so I think, you know, it works in both realms. But using play can help maximize what you can achieve in therapy. It helps you express your feelings when you hit the jump, drums, and it helps you calm down. It helps me focus and have fun. When it comes to sensory issues, some children may become stressed when they encounter something they don't experience in everyday life. This playground helps them learn how to tolerate those strange senses without it being scary. The kids that have difficulty with um, sound, they're afraid of things like fire trucks and um, alarms in the school. So, you know, part of their, their program may be having to pull them out before the fire alarm goes off. But what happens if, you know, those firemen are coming to save them? This style of play lets everyone get involved in different ways, so it doesn't just help children with their sensory issues, but it also helps them become team players. If someone can't use their legs and they have to sit in a wheelchair, you can help them move places by pushing them around in their wheelchair. This makes you get friends and more friends and more friends. While the garden is really just for those going through therapy at PD Play, the owners hope that other kids will see it and learn. We can then talk about disabilities and being able to understand them a little better and hopefully help someone not become a bully. After fundraising for the garden, there's still some money left over to build a rope bridge, but the dream is to make everything into an adaptive playground. So if you'd like to help make that goal happen, PD Play says you can talk with them about how you can volunteer. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV, News 8.